Merhaba friends, so you just installed macOS Ventura 13.0 through my guide on the VM and you check if we have an update 13.0.1 which is 493.5 max and yes we want to update it but we don't know whether this update will go through or not. Now as for the installation method, the update method also has two different approaches that I take which I recommend for all of you. What you can do is you can use the entire QCOW or IMG disk to update it, but that is risky because you don't know whether the update will go through installing on the VM through QEMU because under the need it is using the open core legacy patcher. Uh, so what you can do is you can take an entire copy and paste backup of your disk, the QCOW disk. That is one approach and you can try and uh, see if the update runs through on that copy. If not, what you can do is that most hypervisors like QMU, even VMware and I think VirtualBox also have this concept of linked clones where you have a base image and from that base image you create a clone which will be linked to the base image. And that is what I have done for this, for this uh, uh, update. So QEMU has a concept of backing clones. So with the original file, you create a image and the original and the original file which had the installation of macOS Ventura is the backing image and this new image is your linked clone. Since it is a linked clone, macOS Ventura detected that it was not installing on a full image. So rather than 439 megs, it went and downloaded the entire 11.28 gigs. I mean, uh, internet is is free. I mean, not free. I mean, internet is. I have unlimited internet, so it doesn't hurt me. But if you are on a meter connection, probably it will hurt you. So, and as you can see now, now see we are restarting uh, the VM, and rather than let Apple restart our computer, we'll just go and click on restart now. So, I mean, if, if you have a meter connection, yes, definitely that will be a problem. Then what you could do is make a copy and a paste of the IMG file that you have created using the created in the previous video and then run an update on that because I, you don't, you never know that things may break. So after the, uh, the, I'll take you through the steps of the installation and then we'll see whether the update went through or not. So this is the first reboot and now you see that I have the EFI, the original hard disk, the macOS installer and it has downloaded two recovery images. I don't know. This is the Mac HDD that I, ha that I have, the original Ventura 13.0. So we will go to the macOS installer and all this gibberish will come on screen and then we'll wait for some time. You see I have, it is 10, 16 p.m. At 10.34 p.m. it rebooted and now I have the screen again where I have EFI, macOS Ventura, Mac HDD, this, this is the HDD that I have. Uh, and, and again at 10.47 we have a second reboot and this time we'll go to the Mac HDD again and we will hopefully not have to reboot any more time and yes, once you are booted you can see guys we are running macOS Ventura 13.0.1, the latest bits from Apple. So yes, I mean, even if you are on QMU and you have the VM as uh, using following the guide that I showed you in my previous video, you can be sure that, I mean, not sure, you can, you can, you can be sure that, yeah, you, you can be sure that you can install. So it works for me, it should work for you. Make a copy or use a linked clone with a backing file. Search for Q, Q, QEMU linked clone with backing file. So thank you guys so much. Just a quick update on the latest bits. Thank you so much guys. Take care. See you next time. And hopefully you liked what you saw. Bye bye.